Welcome to the Friendly Geordies pre-show. <coughs> what up, Hello. Yo? Miss, why are you trying yes. to act cool? It tastes so yummy. Hey, I can't hear anything. Why does Snoop Dogg need to put so much- I can't hear myself. Huh? Anyway, that's all good. Head spins. <laughs> woo! Yeah? That one's a bit Welcome. Harsh. Yeah, it is. Jesus. Holy shit. Is there weed in that? No, there's no weed in there. Fucking hell. Thank God. Um. All right, so- he got it from the one honest tobacconist in the country. No, that wasn't me. I've just heard stories from my brother about tobacconists being conflicted because these things are selling like hotcakes. Ever since tobacco prices have gone up, people are buying this stuff and um, it's technically illegal. So this one tobacconist was saying that I can't, the tobacco sales are down. I can't literally put food on my table unless I sell this illegal thing and I'm not too comfortable about it. Oh... Uh. Maybe she should get over it. She's a tobacconist. Yeah. Maybe she should start selling chop like every other tobacconist. What's chop? Chop is a legal tobacco that some mafia don brings in being like, I'm bringing in uh, bananas. Yeah. That's what they look like, right? Didn't that stop in the 20s? I thought it did too. Oh my God. But then I saw a very revealing expose on the feed and I thought, wow, why did I waste my time? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Look, first things first. I know we're supposed to do audience questions, but we've got- We've been uh, bestowed a fair few gifts that we need oh, to yeah. unbox for the pre-show. Oh. So let's start with the first one. Oh, and if we are starting with the first one, allow me to rescind my R with, oh. No, that's not the first one. That'll be the last one. one. Fair enough. That's the coolest. Do you know this why I can't one. hear myself, Ali? I know, but I don't know why It doesn't matter. Is. Well, this is always a good move when they aren't pre-opened, so we don't know what's inside. Yeah, live. Oh. When someone once sent us... A large amount of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, this is just turning into like high times, isn't it? This pod. Appreciated but scary. I think it'll be fine. Just make Does sure. Does high you- times exist anymore? Yeah. Or is it just like with our only editor in chief left, Bill Maher? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, actually. I don't know. Dude, am I wrong? Or Bill Maher's been killing it recently. Yeah. This is sent to us by K. Gray. Oh, it's an essay. Uh, 20, oh wait, that's the address. K Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey Jordan, Miss Love Ali, and greetings to the rest of the friendly Geordie's crew. You, you didn't have to include that. You're behind the scenes, guys. <laughs> that's very nice. As you may know, I've been inspired by some of the phrases and ideas that have come, as you may know, who's Gray? I've been inspired by some of the phrases and ideas that have come to the channel, either the podcast or the videos Jordan's puts out his main channel. I know Miss Love and Ali have noted this on the podcast previously, such as the Among Us themed Friendly Geordie's podcast illustration and the cartoon of Ali on a bed of rose petals to blow someone as if they're about to become Peking Duck. That's that guy. No. Go, Gray. I still don't know. Your name that. is quite misleading. You're quite a colourful man. <laughs> I exchange messages occasionally with Tong, Jordan's girlfriend. Well, I am aware that my girlfriend's <laughs> name is too, but I refuse to call her right, that. Right, her right. name is Tong. I was I just freaked out then. I'm like, how does he, how does he call her? Uh, sure. I've enclosed a Riso print I made. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Of a cereal box cartoon artwork inspired by something Jordan said in his video uploaded on the 16th of April, 2021. Well, this man takes scrupulous notes. He's an <gasps> I didn't even know there was a 16th of April. And he's an <laughs> artist. Yeah. I hope this makes the grade of artworks that can be featured on Jordan's wall. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Gray. Let's, we'll, we'll be the judge of that. I even included a fat little Clive Palmer on the spoon. Well, that is, God, this guy is a stickler for detail. I hope to make some more cartoons and artwork, whether they feature Jordan Ali, Miss Love, and maybe even Neil. No, no don't, don't give him any more props. <laughs> the TikTok star, none, none other. I really enjoy the content that comes from Jordan's serious videos and documentaries. Boo. Boo. What a, what a square. You like Reddit too, do you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good fight. Long time fan. And a few remaining Twitch mods you have on your channel. Whoa. Wow, this guy's a lot better than um, that person that I was just reminded I'm not allowed to say their name on air anymore. But anyway, let's look at it. Whoa! General Geordie's Capitalist Crunch. (laughs) What? Wow. That's going up on the wall. I like the fact that it paints me as a dictator. That's always going (laughs) to, that's always a surefire way up, kids. uh, Probably too reflective, but uh, General Geordie's 
Change to clean energy. Dispose monopolies. Eat the rich. Capitalist crunch. Jesus. So commie. Let's di- let's let's dial back the communism by 20%. Show, show, it, show it on that camera. This one? Yeah. I think she already has dialed back the communism because she's putting the Japanese war flag in the background. And I like also, it. she is advertising a product. That's true. Did that we happen to the Soviet Union at all? Just- Apart from advertising Stalin, I don't know if he counts as a product. Maybe he does. He's a brand, yeah, I guess. He's a brand. He's yeah. the biggest, brand. biggest brand in the Soviet Union. You have to frame this and put it on the wall. You have to frame it. Yeah. It's so good. Like, how good's the, like, Clive Palmer's like, oh, 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 Jesus. This is going to get a lot worse before it gets <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you'll and look- when he gets swallowed, it goes in here. He's just lying in my stomach acids being like, oh, I changed my mind. It's actually pretty good. Down here. <laughs> Dude. Hey, thank, thank That's amazing. Thank you. Who was it? Gray? It's actually Boring Girl who sent it. Ah, AKA Boring Girl. Boring Girl. Ah. You are one of the OGs. Yeah. Well, you're not boring at all. This is awesome. Well, yes. well, well look, we'll, we'll put it back in the little... No, I'll, I'll, I'll move it aside so it doesn't get blood on it or I don't write my guitar pedal tracking number on it, which is a That's very... That's a huge risk. If it's not on the wall, it's getting a guitar pedal track record <laughs> so on. I'm so gonna, I'm just going to move it to a safe place. I all don't right. know if anywhere's safe. I don't think anywhere's cool safe. safe. <laughs> don't get in front of the camera. Oh, You'll sorry, sorry, fuck sorry. the focus up. That's gift number two. Just keep it here. What are you doing? Well, what is this? Christmas in July. This is great. I feel like a fat, spoiled kid. <laughs> what else you get? <laughs> There's three. Uh, four, actually, in total. This wow, there's a lot of nice people in the world. I eat four. Is it a super soaker? I hope it's the right super soaker you want. Better be that it's nothing worse at Christmas. Gun. It's not a huge Nerf gun. I'm not opening it. You know in Christmas when you get... No! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yes, the rebel. Let me see. Oh, Finally, the mug someone club. gets politics. The mug oh. club. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking engraved. <laughs> this camera, dude. The mug club is legit. This is a good cup. Louder, louder with crowder. With crowder. Sick. I like it. This could and be a this permanent one gets thing on the straight to the, the chase table. as well. Dear Geordies and the gang, you changed my mind. Well, Kind yeah. regards, Blaze Guy. <laughs> Blaze. Uh, uh, Blaze Guy, Boring Girl. Oh my God. I never thought I'd hold yeah, one of those. Yeah. It's a good mug. It's a yeah, good it's quality great. mug. I think that that gets to be next to Sting. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, mug club. This is worth every penny. I, I which can't I believe assume it. is what? 200 American probably, dollars? Yeah. Probably. probably. Dude, yeah. that is that is not moving. That's a hilarious. All right. Okay. Oh. One more. The mug club. Oh, this one's big. Yeah, oh. what the hell? Can't believe people still send stuff. When did that? No, here's the bigger question. Why office did it stop? It yeah. <laughs> Why did it stop? Because <laughs> they realize they can't send weed anymore. <laughs> Or did I don't they? even know how to open this one? Yeah, I nice. Guess by opening it, that's probably yeah, nice. Well, <laughs> strong enough. Ah. I'm not that. Ah. I think this one's from Band Mole, if I'm not wrong. Okay, Band Mole has said, "Hey, I met Band Mole. No way. She lives in Toowoomba. No, she lives that's like a different in person. Sydney. That's a different person. Well, who's the person that lives in Toowoomba? I don't uh, know, but she exists. I'm she, I know sure. who you're talking about, though. Nah, I probably just imagine them. Oh, well, that's very sweet. Can I see? Is that a koala or a possum? Is it? It's, I think it's a, yeah, it's a koala. Yeah, well, that's very good on yeah, you, Ben. Cat, cat. No! What the hell? Oh. What's that? God, there's so many thoughtful people I know that listen that, to this you know podcast. What, I know what, you know what this I, is? I know what, I know what, time to get educated. I know what no, this is. And that's t- sacrilegious. Get off the pod. You're banned for life. <laughs> I know what this We're is. We're replacing you with this. <laughs> what is that? I don't know Probably what has is. more wisdom in each head than you. <laughs> Dumb commie. Dicky like name. I like the hat, though. Dude, this wait, wait, wait. is pretty much <laughs> Australian entertainment from 1971 <laughs> to 1998. <laughs> This. You it's ready? So uh, good. Uh, oh, 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 do I it. Yeah. Picked up let's on the mic. Yeah, let's just do a little bit. You're Daryl Summers. All right, let me put yours on because I can't. Ali, you're Molly here. Meldrum. Hello, uh, Daryl Summers. Wait, 
Oh, wait, wait do what I, are okay. you doing? I don't know All which right. camera to put up. Yeah, can you see? Wait, let's get, there we go. That, that one? <laughs> hey, yeah, no, that's it. No, no, that's it. That's the camera. Okay, that's the camera. All right, perfect. All right, uh, so we've got Molly Meldrum on. Cheers, Molly. No, you've been a great guest. Mr. Savage, Mr. Savage, are you going to ask him about his stroke? Look, Dickie, it's not appropriate. I think, uh, Molly, we, look, we, we just ignore him, all right? Uh, He's, uh, yeah, like you're having a stroke on here, mate. <laughs> hey, look, Red, what do you say? What do you say? I have no clue what's happening. <laughs> yeah, neither do yeah, I. Neither no, do no one does. Neither That's do I. That's the whole beauty look, of we're gonna- Saturday. Look, we're going to... Oh, it's Hey Hey Saturday. We're bringing. I just say, hey, Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Put your head down more. Put your head down more. Yeah, there you go. Your head down more. Mr. Jumpy, Yeah, look, look, what, what is it, Matt? What is it, Dickie? Uh, I just came up to say, you know that interview that you did with Mel Gibson the other day? Yes. Yeah, that, was, uh, that, that wasn't good. I didn't like that at all. Hey, be careful. Look. Oh, my head, it just fell off. I've heard no. that. Look, look. Oh, Mel. Oh, Mel, no. Mel. Oh, just talk. Oh, gee, sorry. Mr. He's you're, dead. You're gonna, Look, you're speak my be be careful. Be careful, Dicky. Your Mel will come over and knock your block off. I've heard he's pretty rowdy after a few beers. Good job, dude. Good, good, good dude. job. So this was like you know a what? I'm, I'm, I'm that, calling that, it now. Rove Live was a downgrade okay, from Hey Hey It's Saturday. Hey, someone's saying read the card. Did That's you miss it. something in that box? Yeah, 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 no, there's still stuff here to go, but oh, okay, we're, we're, we're having fun here, right? This is okay. amazing. I was. I think she told. I, I, I oh, and she sent us kind immunity boosters. Well, do it the oh, other way. Can I see? Oh. It's like Nick. having a mum that actually loved me. Oh, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Maybe she's watching. Hello, Mrs. Shanks. <laughs> oh, six. Well, so we'll we'll can have. I see? Can I see? Uh, immunity. Oh, I oh, really need this. I think. Pose. I really need this. I haven't been able to get over a flu for like a month, so this might help rather than beer and yogurt. Miss Love, some, some person is just like, Miss Love, notice me. Hi. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Success. This You have got the easiest man to get their attention in life. <laughs> <laughs> New achievement unlocked. Yeah, wave something. <laughs> wave something. Level shame. one. Uh, <laughs> now you can move up to amusing the Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about it. Thank you, Ban Mole, because... You're literally extending our lives through yuck yucks. I can't believe this and an immunity booster. This is insane. So this was just like a- Dude, this was, he wasn't joking. This was Australian comedy, the height, the only thing that like, in terms of Australian comedy, the only thing that existed, the height of comedy from what? Between 19, when was it? 60s or 70s? 70s. 1970, so 1970s so to, to hey, 1990s. And then kind this of- from Hey Hey It's Saturday? Yeah. I never watched this. I watched a few of the recordings, the infamous ones particularly, um, yeah. but I watched a few others, but You've, I missed this. Dude, this, Jordan, just this. Just seeing this. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. <laughs> seeing that. Yeah, it was the back. So this is all you saw. Oh, you saw the back. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it was Sorry. so good because Daryl Summers, uh, I love him to bits, but he was very desperate on air. He was clearly uncomfortable the entire time. He probably thought he was going to get fired. Uh, just wondering, like, wow, every other Australian series has lasted a max of two seasons, but this is going on as long as The Current Affair. How is this still on? And I'll give you your answer right now. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't you, mate. <laughs> that and a little thing called a gong kept that show going. And that cartoonist that it covered every time. Oh, that was great. It was so good. It was just constantly paying out Daryl Summers. There would be a cartoonist that would just make caricatures of him. He'd come up and just be like, Mr. Chamish, Mr. Chamish, you're bombing. And he'd just like, pipe down there, Dickie, and smack him away. <laughs> and then the cartoonist would come up and be like, here's you. Oh, jeez, with the stink lines and all. <laughs> and live. And a cartoonist live to be like, yeah, this is you. You suck. And then him just being, yeah, exactly. That. And our audience has taken the position of this voiceover that would come in every now and then and act, I guess, as Daryl Summers conscious. <laughs> Wasn't that what he usually did? No. Uh, he would actually just come in every time. Uh, it was always that. It was just Daryl Summers perpetually bombing and three comedians that you never saw the face of paying him out. On <laughs> it was the original oh. Japanese TV show. It was. Did they take it from a Japanese? It, it felt Japanese. Did it? Yeah. In that style. I think they took it from us. Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe they did. I don't know. Because, like, 
it was that thing of just like a bombardment of just sort of like, here's his sock puppet, here's cartoons. Some guy and they had like, the, they had like, I think we took that from the from the American model, but there was the, eh, eh, eh. but there was oh, the thing. Sorry, but Where there was the thing of uh, like the other way. Apparently, back. That's is right. Return. But it, there was the thing of like, uh, you know, like a like a talent show, and people would go on to the talent show, and you just the, the whole point was just trying to survive before was it Red, Red yeah, before yeah, he yeah, gonged yeah. you. <laughs> and he was so grumpy. That guy was Australian gold, sort of like tough taskmaster. Oh, is that I'm Simpsons PC. joke? Do you remember that of Barney Gumble yeah, and Homer? That. And they said, <laughs> "Your lifeline dream was to go on the Gong Show." You yeah. did it in the seventies. Remember? We got more Gongs in that breakdancing robot that caught on fire. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's very sweet. Right, well, well hang on, let's just read it, it out. Yeah. Yep. Dear Friendly Jibbies, I decided to put my creative side to work and fashion you your own dicky knee. Well, it is very creative, and I give you full points for it. I hope you appreciate his soccer ball head. Well, we're a big fan of all soccer ball heads. <laughs> Searles, Chris Kenny, and Dicky Knee. <laughs> the trifecta. Oh, my God. It's the amazing. triumvirate of power in Australia. You have to have a spherical head. <laughs> <laughs> so good My brain is a crystal ball I threw in some goodies Because why the fuck not Hey No swearing I swear by yeah. the immunity powder Especially when you feel flat on And run down No this isn't an ad I literally have hundreds of these at home And couldn't possibly live that long to use them Oh please send more We need, one, we need one a day Yeah we, you do I fucking do See Miss Love This is a good idea You have Replace the liter of yogurt that you've been eating while being <laughs> sick for a month straight with one of these. Just try that. I will. You've Wait. tried yogurt. <laughs> it's not getting the results. It's not. I've heard yogurt's good for you though. See, not when you're sick. I've heard it's, mixed. It's dairy. Because your dad said it's good for you too, didn't he? Yeah, but you know what else my dad thinks is good for you? <laughs> this is what my dad used to give me when I was sick. Vegemite toast <laughs> with garlic on it. He was He's a <laughs> Russian peasant. He wasn't that wrong. Garlic is good for you. I mean, you see, but the yeah, but you know, so like, there is other ways to prepare garlic. <laughs> and you know what would be a really good start? Actually preparing it, as in cooking it. That'd be a good- put raw garlic I mean, you're speaking to the wrong crowd here. I love raw garlic, but I'm, on, I'm with him on that one. I'm with him on that one, but- I've changed it to, uh, 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 apparently the koala's name is Katie, but I have changed it to Bruiser because she wants to beat up Gladys. Oh. <laughs> eh, eh. That's really sweet. Eh, eh, eh. Stay rad and keep fighting the good fight. No. Th uh, all the best. Big love. P.S. Mum now calls all the bin chickens in our street Gladys Berejiklian. Shh. <laughs> Your mum's <laughs> never been more proud. My job here is done. Also, I didn't put him on a stick as that would be too tricky to post. And technically a weapon, probably. <laughs> well, because it's getting posted to Ali, a sex toy. But either way. And I am upset with it not being included. <laughs> yeah, this, this uh, can still be used as a sex toy. Uh, that's yeah, amazing. Let's not give that, put that anywhere close to our myth here. <laughs> Um, All right, wait, one last, one last. I, we are almost done with the pre-show and yeah, we're still not nice. done with the gifts. Uh, wait, where'd that go? Hey, where'd the picture of me as a dictator go? I oh, suppose we, you can't hold it up. We, uh, we put it down there because I don't want it to get blood on it. Or any sort of... Uh... Well, this one came from this legend called Rhyme. I checked out her music. Her name rhymes with Grimes for a reason. She is better Grimes. And we also... <laughs> Calling uh, it. Miss Love was also checking her Instagram out and uh, we managed to take a sneak peek and she does look like Grimes too. Yeah, yeah. That's calling a it. bit insulting. I think she's way hotter than Grimes. I think Grimes <laughs> does look like a clove of garlic. But look, the point yeah. is she's mad. I really like Rhyme. I dig her music. Yeah, you definitely dig her music. He has... Grimes on repeat. Yeah, I rinsed it too much. This is, you know what you are to me now, Rhyme? You are like... Rhymes. We, rhymes. <laughs> Did I say it wrong? No, you said it right. I'm just being very clever. Facetious, if you will. Miss mm -hmm. Love's word of the week mm -hmm. that he learned from The Simpsons. Where I think it's the word of the month now. <laughs> is it? <laughs> rhyme. 
sent us all of these great Japanese knickknacks. Look at this. She lives in Japan. She seems to have the coolest life imaginable. Can yeah. you imagine that? Japanese Grimes. Uh, I mean, well, she pretty much is Japanese. She pretty Grimes much is, originally. but yes. still mad. Yes, she's great. Honestly, I'm a big fan of your music, Rhyme. Um, you are the next stage of my musical evolution. Like when I listened to nothing but Linkin Park and then discovered what Limp Bizkit is. That is as big of a compliment as you will ever get in your life. Now, she got us sick ramen. And also, Hell yeah. you have not appreciated this enough, Miss Love. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything else in life. Eyeballs that you are supposed to put on potatoes. <laughs> I saw this. And I think it was early. Thank you very much. This is all the whole, the, I've seen the stuff. It's amazing. But the first thing, cause it was early in the morning and I hadn't had my coffee. It was kind of just like, what? Oh, he's on a broccoli. You can't eat that. Very, very silly of you, Japan. But it is growing on me. I know that if it was like, mm -hmm, and put that in like a jacket potato, I'd be like, ah, <laughs> like I would probably like it. But that is why they are su a, a, a superior culture. Can't get this bloody in uh You need to replace these your eyes with these sparkly eyes. <laughs> what difference would there be? Seriously. I don't think so. You, you have bad eyes anyway. <laughs> yeah. You pretty much have this wonder eyes anyway when you're just like, look, ramen, you'd be like, oh Yeah, do Yeah, yeah. Do I do want to test pads. this product out. It says that it's a brightening skin product and Sick. This my mum will finally love me if my uh, skin color is slightly fair. So I'm going to put it on. <laughs> that would be amazing. And then you start looking like Chad from, um, I forgot what the podcast is, Cold One. That's the one. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he just rocks up. Here it goes. Uh, we've got Paper Theatre. That what? looks very fun. Very fun. And she just gave me these little origami make your own aquarium animals. Mm. I don't need my fish at all anymore. <laughs> It's a care so package. Totoro it's like stuff. a fucking care package. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so nice, all the things that people send. And these two are 3D puzzles. What? Yeah, just slow down. I'm not even sure the 2D puzzles are a real thing. I'm not ready for this. Jesus. I'm not ready for that either. Can I see? Because yes, I, thought, I thought they were just toys. No, they are uh, slightly more complicated kinder surprises. Okay. Oh, these. Oh, dude, finally. We're going to make these and they're going to live on the table, guys. Because we, you're not a podcast unless you have some this is studio. This puzzle too. Some studio. Are you putting it on? Yeah. Oh, my God. Put it on. Damn. And she wrote our name. That's going up on the wall just by itself. This. You have to. Oh, God. She wrote in <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, put it on for the rest oh, of the podcast. Oh, yeah, that's, not, that's not coming off. Change the camera, bro. You get, you're not, we don't got you here. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. Oh, yes. Hannibal Lecter. Have you ever done one of these? I think, yeah, I think oh, I have. They're really oh, my beard's too big for it to stick. No, no, no. It'll stay. All right, okay. So now I'll just do this. I have to, put, I have to keep this on for about 15 minutes, and then I'll be like, Beautiful. Just like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> is that actually what it is? Like Japanese whitening mask. Wouldn't it be scary if it does? Like he takes it off and is like, yes, there is no pigment left in your skin. <laughs> <laughs> I love how all their stuff I just wish. has anime, like all anime uh, characters on it. Look. <laughs> she's clearly a fan of us always pronouncing every Japanese word with. Let's so see. she wrote Friendly Geordies in Japanese and gave us the pronunciation at the bottom. You what want to know it? what Friendly yeah, Geordies is? Furendori Geordesuri. Furendori Geordesuri. Best country on earth. I've never yeah. been, and I know it's the best country on earth. I kind of want to But I've got to say, Rhymes, too. I'm really Wait, jealous of your life. Yeah. It's so much. It's, everything's just enhanced in Japan except for the KFC. That's it. <laughs> Wait, Bullshit. why is the KFC yeah. not enhanced? Well, I don't know. I've never actually had it there, but I assume that it's exactly the same as Korea's. And? And those chips, I was like, did you deep fried shoelaces? Like, uh, uh, that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, okay. So they're still picking that up. Yeah. Detective Conan. <laughs> what is that? This rice mask makes you look more like your favorite character, Detective Conan. Wait, you should put that on. Is that Japan's prime minister? Jordan, put that one on. All right. You put that one on. I don't see why not. But yeah. I've already had a faith mask today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not joking. Still, I'm not. not joking. Every day do you use one? 
Yeah. Well, of rice. He uses a I'm rice mask. Philistine. Uh, maybe slow. Maybe you go for that one. Okay. W- what's the description? What's that going to no, make? No, 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 no. We've got something special in store. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's true. true. That's, that's true. true. I'll, I'll hold out. All right. And you also hold out for that little sizzle. We'll be back later with some actual content. Instead of just a Actually, very Christmas. elongated version of Saturday Disney set. <laughs> With vapes. Someone's like getting pissed off because I don't have it all the way up to my hairline. Shut up. The man's trying to bleach his face in peace. <laughs> oh, wait. That could get us. No. What? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's not going to be good for friendly oh, shit. This is great. Oh, take it off. No, sure. stay it on. No, don't put it on him. It's no. a face mask. Relax. True. It's yeah. just a. Fa- <laughs> yeah, but dude, Twitter is a very fucked up space. So. <laughs> I think we should have just. We should have. Switch the masks. Probably. I'm too scared. Nah, it's too late. It's a face mask. I'm going to have like a warning. <laughs> Dude, you look so scary. What the? Yeah, we both look like those. Oh my uh, God. This isn't you fun know what anymore. It is. It's kind of like, it's really scary. It looks like the mask, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Smoking. <laughs> Out comes a plume <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I think uh, rhyme is just a it was just a uh, deep state sort of cancel. Someone <laughs> set from fucking like Aspie to try to cancel us. Nah, <laughs> uh, let's not talk about it. It's a face. It's a face mask. It's a face mask. <laughs> it is a face mask. Relax. Uh, I am. All right. So, do you have? We've got three more minutes before the end of the free show. Do we have any questions? Let's take a couple. Holy shit, that stuff's uh, rough. It, it just says Panthera, Panthera. Like yeah, 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 yeah. That's just the rest of the pod. Panthera, 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 Panthera. Post me the address. The address <sighs> is... What was the address? The P.O. Box? One four se- I can't remember. Will you... What the hell is going on? No questions, just sexual propositions. Uh, wow, that's when you know you've made it. Your entire Twitch stream. Okay, what been... lube does Miss Love use? <coughs> Whatever's around. <laughs> I don't no, have a brand. I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever's no around. lube necessary. Well, I... Miss Love gets some wit. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. At <laughs> this point, I'd like to say, hello, mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy, Miss. Oh, God. <clears throat> Jordan Phoebe Jane. Hughes. Hello, Phoebe, whoever you are. I, I see you. You're a pixel, and I'm sure you're a very uh, charismatic individual pixel. Talk about the budget. Well, considering that the budget... Oh, well, it was supposed to release at 7.30. We don't know what's in it. So maybe you can give us updates. Uh, no questions. One more minute till eight. We're going to go if Come there's on, no guys, questions. Girls, y'all... New Zealand ban on live exports. Any take on that? New Zealand ban on... I can't look at him. I can't look at him. You look... You look at me. (laughs) I can't. It's my my nightmare. He's just coming to kill me. He looks like a murderer. Yeah, and Ali looks like it as well. You're right. I'm just trapped between two... I can't do it. Um... Why are you so against making your skin look its very best? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Jordan Christ. smoking a vape. Well, oh, fuck. Panthera. Everyone's <laughs> saying Panthera. <laughs> don't stand close to glass, Ali. Why not? I don't get it. Yes. Hello. Hello. I remember you. Dude, she keeps saying that. I remember you. Why does Epstein sort of rhyme with Pepsi? Now that's the big a, that's question. That's a good question, finally. Uh, Ali, would you like to cover that as the global expert that is trying to bleach his face? Well, once Pepsi lost the battle with Coca-Cola, Dude, they thought, decided to get into a different just, kind of I've business. I've just realised, if anyone's going to ever get a still of you two guys and me just blowing a poo- plume of smoke and all this shit in the table, I think it's going to be a perfect summation of what we do here. <laughs> Okay, uh, one Can last question. Can someone do that? Get some snapshots of that. Don't encourage them. <laughs> one last question, and then we go, Jordan, uh, why was your um, zip down throughout the Kevin Rudd video? <laughs> the big question. Because I went and did a piss beforehand, and then I forgot it was undone. And then 
Miss Love was saying that it just became a non-stop two-day thread, Ziff Gate. How could he interview a Prime Minister with his Ziff down? I'll tell you why. <laughs> For the same reason that I do anything where I'm in front of a politician, because I'm very scared and nervous. <laughs> so I make the situation worse for myself. Jesus God. That's not why. The reason is this man's redefining the term trapped in his own mind. That's true as well. Come as on. we've said frequently, uh, one of my frequent moves, it's just kind of a role that you have to deal with when you work at Friendly Geordies. You have to see me talk to you and get naked in front of you and realise when I'm fully naked that I'm fully naked. This it's actually that bad dream that you have, but it's my reality day after day. It only could have been scarier with that mask on. <laughs> Jesus, I can't look at either of you. Essentially, that I don't know if we talked about this, but there was a time when me and Ali, <clears throat> Ali and I were at Jordan's and he was just talking extemporaneously about, I don't know, tax reform in the 80s. And then he just comes out <laughs> He's talking to us, fully clothed, goes inside a room, fully clothed, comes out next second, completely naked, naked, just caught everything, naked. And just be like, yeah, and anyway, and, and just kept talking about tax reform. And then we, both of ours just go down and then go back up. It's like, anyway, he's like, oh yeah, so, oh God, yeah, no, I've, that, that, I'm naked, naked, okay, bye. Yeah, just ran away, I'm just like, what? What, what, what is, what, what, what happened? Naked news got canceled. Well, just today when we're going to the sauna, miss, Jordan, because I didn't bring my swimming By the clothes. way, we work very hard here. <laughs> very hard at Friendly Joy, Zick. Yeah, it was uh, really hard in there. <laughs> Give us more stuff. <laughs> but it, it, it helps us eat. You can't eat a sauna. Go on. I didn't have my swimming trunk, so I said I'm going to use a towel. Jordan didn't have anything else. He, was gonna, he said that he wants to go commando in the sauna. <sighs> and I don't know what stopped you. Probably because we met an ex-army guy that was... Uh, detailing us about the incoming war with China that is definitely coming and that it's going to be a nuclear war, he probably thought that that guy wouldn't mind. But you were wrong, I think. You think so? Because I thought he'd be like, oh, it's one of those Sean issues. True, okay. true, 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 true. <laughs> I'm surprised. Would you have gone in your birthday suit? I don't really have any shame about my body. No, I know that, but Clearly other people, <laughs> other people that yeah. surround you might. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Again, yeah, see, stuck in his own mind. Really this is this is other people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is the uh, this is the issue. This is the this is the problem at hand here. It's just the uh, dude, Miss Love. I'm gonna say something. Someone is really thirsty for you in this chat. Who is it? What's their name? Like, I don't want to take her yeah, name, but she a... keeps. She keeps saying- Hello, please stop this. Speaking of nudes, send nudes. <laughs> no, please. no, we don't need nudes. Yes, Actually, well, I need nudes. Come on. I mean, we, we how, did this turn, how did this turn into the raciest episode? Yeah, I don't so, know. Anyway, it it's happening. Started. All right, look, that's it. Uh, we're going to go on a break and we'll come back with the main part. And then we'll consider if we take off the mask before we come back or after. Chaff it down. <laughs> All right, see you. <laughs> and we're back. Welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast. If you are confused as to why I'm wearing this, it's because I want to be slightly brighter. And this is a Korean face mask that was sent to us by a fan. Yes. Or yeah, a fan. A fan. A fan. A fan. A fan. A fan from Japan. And Jordan's also wearing one. What's yours? Uh, longevity mask? Some shit like that. Yeah, yours is longevity <laughs> mask, and mine is. Um, yeah, let's see if I'm... Uh, if cleansing I'm, mask. Cleansing mask, okay. I'll, I'll see if, if it worked on me first. Do you have to... Okay. You look wow. fresher. It does actually look fresher. You look way fresher. <laughs> Holy hell. You do. Ali. I don't think you need glasses anymore. <laughs> yeah, I can see I can clearly <laughs> now. The rain is gone. <laughs> it's gone. All right, all right, all right now right, your right, turn. Right, Take it off. Let's see, let's see. You look... You look like Clarice. You look like you just came out of the sauna again. I look too fresh. You look like... Uh, you look like you've just done <sighs> P90X. You're sweating like a pig here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what though? <sighs> Man. Do you feel fresher? You know what? You feel more relaxed. Mm. I'll be doing one at home on my own. It's going to be very nice. No, it's a, it was a great care package. And I'm actually... Yeah, it's such a nice package. I'm actually excited <clears throat> about the ramen too <clears throat> because I feel like 
Yeah, good on you, Rhyme. Thanks for sending that all through. Rhyme um, and thank reason. Thank you for Boring Girl and the guy that sent us the ladder with Crowd and Mug. What was and his name? Ben Mole. Again or something? Ben Mole. Thank you, and Ben Mole. Ben Mole. Mole. Uh, no. The three Bs. Hey, yeah. Gray. Boring Girl. Grave Zone. Anyways. Gray. Anyway, they were all awesome. Yes. Uh, we can probably uh, discuss what their names were in our own time, or better yet, actually look at the letters they sent us with their names on it. We haven't got all the time in the world, do we? All right, like the first segment We've got is puzzles to do. The first segment is stabbing in the dark because it's about the budget, which has just been released, but we haven't gotten to we haven't gotten a chance to look at it yet. And you had the best stab. I think that you just plunged a knife in the dark, and you heard Josh Frydenberg go, oh, AFP, AFP, I'm down." <laughs> <laughs> Has the budget been announced? Yeah. yeah, yeah it well, uh, it's been announced. What are you talking about? What, you think it's a surprise budget? They're just like, there you go. <laughs> what do you think about that? Pretty much. That's how they should do it. That's how <laughs> they can sneak it through. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, you never, I, don't, I, don't have a, I don't have it in my calendar, like Christmas, right, me, Easter, and of course, budget night. Let me, yeah. I can't forget that. But he does have in his calendar the My EFO report. <laughs> Of course I do. My ethos on life is important. Miss, let's let's give you a little update on what the budget is like. I'm the layman. Fill me um, in. They announced the budget a bit before, saying that we will release a budget. Yeah. Once the budget before the budget is released, they give it to a bunch of journalists that go into like a locked room. The newsroom. I mean, news is that what it's called? It's called we went the there room. in Canberra. Yeah. What was it called? Hey, I took you on that little tour and I said, and that's where they lock up the journalists for and yeah. hope they starve. He literally showed me that. It was like, look at all those desks that looks like an HSC, you know, like exam hall. That's where all the, the, the news people go. And I'm just writing notes like, journalists can go into Parliament House. Yeah. Yes, I know. But you know what it and was? I was like pointing to a huge portrait and saying, who's that? And it was John Howard. <laughs> that's not true. But you know what it was? You know what that tour was? It was the like... You know, what's that, Jordan? Give me the Simpsons joke. You must be eighteen. Oh, that was that. Yeah, that was it. What was the joke? You walking around saying, "Wow, this is where the laws are made." That's because you trust your stupid school books. You want to know how laws are really made? You must be eighteen. <laughs> that was literally it. He was just like, "I'm like Gillard," you know, like different prime ministers. It's like, like you know, I'm just pointing there, being like, "He invented margarine," and then Jordan's there, just like. You know, smoking a cigarette, being like, he was faking it. Like, all the, 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 the real news, you know. It was great. Ooh. It was the opposite of my year six Canberra trip, which was the last time I was in Parliament House. <laughs> and I remember walking into the Senate and saying to you, Miss, we could bomb it. We really <laughs> could. Holy <laughs> shit. Now, Panthera, that's cancelable. Panthera, Panthera. Panthera. Now, that, no, no, no. But, like, the best part. Uh, like, but you could. There you was, could. There was one, there was no one there. I will let you get on with this. But you was, could easily overpower. Dude, we say, could. Hey, guys, you want to just walk you straight in there? Uh, uh, I don't need to check your trench, co trench coat. I trust you. We like, could have was, been that Chris Kenny guy, whatever his name is. We could have walked in there and it's been like, this is Parliament. How I could have sat there in like ScoMo's chair and pretended to be ScoMo and be like, not listening on my phone. And he could have been in the opposition and be like, now listen up, ScoMo. We could have role played. No one would have cared. They probably would have come in and been like, sure, they're sitting but I would in have Parliament. Been playing Chris Kenny, of course, because he is clearly the most important person there. See, because he doesn't even have the money to go to Canberra Insane. and film inside Parliament <laughs> House despite no one ever being in there. He had to get it green screen. Dude, and quote, this is my quote. We were in Parliament House. He had to explain to me the difference between the Senate and Parliament House. I'm like, I'm learning. And we were in Parliament House or the Senate. And I just remember just being like, what do you think? You know all those books. You know how they have all the like books. Like the I guess it's like the law, all the law. And then like <laughs> he's just like I don't know. I'm like, what did I say? Like, is it about yeah. billabongs? No. How many of those law books do you think deal with billabongs? <laughs> Quote three. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you need a real official tour guide to cover it. Like, Actually, you'll be surprised. It's seven volumes. <laughs> <laughs> Went, <laughs> width and depth of a billabong. <laughs> anyway, great times. Well, so that's what happens. They they announce the budget. They release it first in privacy to like a journalist and the opposition. Journalists yep. go through it. Then the, eventually it gets released and the opposition has like, I think a day or like a, a few days or something to go over it and then have a debate about the budget. And eventually there's a vote in the parliament to pass it through. So right now it's the step where Frydenberg is going to lay it out to the public and 
to everyone else and then we'll go through the debating process. And having not seen it, what's the bit? What was your call, Ali? Well, I'm just basing it on off the news storage. Well, I do know one thing that there is a lot of money that's been made and that's because of iron ore prices going really high uh, throughout the whole <coughs> pandemic. So Australia has made a killing and guess who, who helped us make that killing? Surprise, surprise, it's China. Mm. We're still taking money from China and a lot of it. Um, but anyways, the other thing that I am, there's hints about what's going to be in the budget is um, basically not going to austerity. So from what I've heard, it turns out the liberals have abandoned the whole um, debt thing and now are, uh, I think... They think that uh, John Maynard Keynes is not that bad. <laughs> right. I am guessing that Josh Frydenberg was briefed on who John Maynard Keynes was. <laughs> I, thought it was a, I thought it was a singer for Tool. <laughs> hey, he is. You got that one right, miss. Can you imagine that? Just him coming into apartment. Vicariously, I passed this law. <laughs> Look, I don't know who the lead singer of Tool is. His name, his name. So I assume it probably is John Maynard Keynes. We don't know what happened to I him think after he died. I think his name is John Maynard Ke- Keating or something. Anyway, I don't know. I, I for some Holy reason, I doubt yeah. it. <laughs> I'll find it. I'll find it out. John Maynard Paul Keating, full name. <laughs> uh, I think it is. But the uh, but so I don't know what's actually happening in the budget, but. But your guess was that... Is that close? You know what? No. What's oh. the name? I, this will shock you, but I don't think John Maynard, Maynard Keynes had peroxide blonde <laughs> shoulder length hair. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to check the history books. Well, Maybe get onto that. Maybe through a point of, uh, you know, after experimenting with economics, <laughs> experimenting with progressive metal. Who knows? Yeah. So, yeah, you were saying Josh Frydenberg is... Surprise, surprise, a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you missed. <laughs> you said we'll be right back. He probably did. He probably got ASIO to hack in. Just like, just make sure they don't say anything bad about me. Okay, you can go back to talking about Japanese rice mash. <laughs> oh, sorry, one, one more question. I know you guys could hear, but could you see? Did we come back from the break with video or not? <laughs> was is that, my question. Is that just a uh, audio? Was that just, were you just listening to move? Uh, it only cut for about 10 seconds. So we're sweet. Beautiful. Well, yeah, I, no, you predicted, sorry, that in the budget, Josh Frydenberg will say, as you can see, we've had a tumultuous year with its challenges and we have made a budget that reflects that. As such, we will be giving all middle-class Australians a $10 tax rebate <laughs> that you have to apply for on a website that will crack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's one thing I heard from my, my one thing I heard from my brother was like, oh, maybe it wasn't, this probably has nothing to do with the budget. I really doubt that they announced this in the budget, but I was just imagining it be like, and <clears throat> point of order, if anyone wants to go out for ramen, you get a $100 voucher for COVID each. Hey, that's it. true. Actually. Oh shit! I mean, not a hundred dollar, not ramen, not a hundred dollars, but I think you get like twenty five dollar coupons. No, it's a hundred. I don't get. It's about, uh, you well, have fair, to put fair. in your address, and they tell me your address is not eligible. Sucked in. You're too far so west, good. dude. Sucked there are in. You, your rent's My cheap, GPS but there can't are fucking find you, and neither can the government. <laughs> dude, as well, still live in Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just moved to those Pakistani it's, parties. It's didn't really. You? It was very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so you there guys you go. Are. So you I do know about. I do know about the budget. Are. Yeah, yeah. So Jordan, my treat, ramen time. Oh, yes. Finally, we can get that hat that says Ramen King. <laughs> that is very overpriced. <laughs> um, uh, well, oh shit Sandy just messaged Saying that people Have been using Those vouchers For friendly Geordie's tickets Hey you do, oh, I didn't even know That was scamming The system You're involved Yes Finally The New South Wales Government gives me An advertising budget <laughs> I'm there with Yours and ours baby <laughs> what a, That's pretty cool The that government is, cool. is Bailing you out bro What do you think About that huh um, They're not you know bailing what? him out you, uh, Jordan's aren't that bad. Jordan's uh, the, Jordan's fans are scamming. No, no. 
They're, no, they're not actually. No, okay, I've just totally flipped that. You're right. But you know, like. just on that scamming bit, though, I don't know again what the budget is going to be like. But one thing that I did read <clears> was <throat> there was record amount of money that was spent through Centrelink once the pandemic started, and every like all of these conservative theorists were like, they're never going to go back. But without even increasing, well, without even increasing penalties or getting people to do income tests, most people slowly are moving away from Centrelink. Which tells you that there's I, perhaps there's a very few amount of people that are serial dole bludgers, but most of the population use it when they need it and get off as soon as they don't need it. Yeah, because I don't know if the liberals know this, but being on Centrelink sucks. Especially now. Horrible. Not in our day. In our day, it was like when each of us was on it for a little while, it was literally just like you go in there once every week or two weeks and like, did you uh, apply for a job? It's like, yes, look. It's like, looks like you just scribbled your signature and then hand wrote Dimix. Is that, <laughs> shut up and give me, sh- how about this? Shut up and give me my money. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're the go. boss. Here you go, mate. He's another week. That's how it was. Yeah. Now, I assume. To be you- fair, I was like, I'm one of those people that got on Centrelink right after the pandemic and then got off as soon as my income went to a point where I could sustain myself. And it was still easy. But that's because I wasn't on Job Seeker. I was on Oz Study. That's different. Technically, yeah, that's I could still be on Oz Study, but then, like, that's I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable enough not to but be. But that's, that's Oz Study's just like, good on you. You're studying. No, no, no. He's a bit extra. A job Keeper now is kind of just like, how many lashings was it this week? Nine? Or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so it now. True. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's insane. <laughs> That's funny. But I, I like that system though. But either way. Yeah, me too. You like it <laughs> too. Yeah, people yeah. are getting off steadily. <laughs> <laughs> either way, the whole dole bludger thing is a bit of a myth from uh, according to data. Uh, or study well, Jordan, is less than job Jordan's seeker. covered that. I'm still dubious because I watch a current affair. But- you know, well, I don't know. I haven't delved enough into it. I will say this. Uh, I did for a long time believe that the doll bludger idea was a myth. And then I started watching Spanian videos. <laughs> and now I'm not so sure. But no, because but you know what? It's it is- kind of just a current affair, but cut out all of the cheap effects. Yeah. He's yeah. pretty much just telling you, okay, bro, this is hood logic. This is how you get a housing commission house. You say that you have anxiety. That can't prove that shit, bro. It's <laughs> on your head. But you know what? It's uh, those people were always and on Centrelink. Writing Center this Link. down, dude. So, yeah. Those people were always on Centrelink even before COVID. So their numbers wouldn't drop. They're just cons- constant. Mm. Yeah. So only people that went on Centrelink were people that had genuinely lost their jobs. I bet a lot of entertainment people went on it, and I the the myth was that they they just like it, but they don't. No one does. Yeah. No one likes to fucking smooch off the government. Oh, uh, that's not necessarily yeah, true. Yeah, that's not but true. But I do think that it is a that's disproportionately small amount of people. However, I would like to know from our audience poll time. Yeah. What would you prefer happen to doll bludgers? Them continuing to get the doll. Or them to receive a cat of nine tails. <laughs> because I'm really on board with your idea. <laughs> was, as soon as you start paying tax, you sit there and say, well, why do I have to work? Why do I have to <laughs> sit down and talk into a microphone <laughs> every week? <laughs> and sometimes I with skip my them. friend, with my best friend on earth. What? You're, you're, you're not too good to do this? <laughs> Yeah, we are in no position to be bashing on Centrelink. Like, we are the recipients of Centrelink, you know? Well, you most certainly are a recipient of Centrelink. Why? I love that story. I know we've talked about it uh, on this podcast. Yeah, I love the story. You are into the slow plateau of Friendly Geordies where we've run out of all of our best stories. <laughs> oh, God. Recycling them like Adelaide recycles cans. But we... It happens with every good channel. We're back at the beginning now, like... In like two weeks, we'll be like, okay, we're moving from FBI, hopefully. I love this place, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> Imagine if next week we're back at FBI. That would be fun. This was all just a dream. And then well, I was like, wake up, dude. Two out of three of the mics work this oh. week. <laughs> Don't scare me because I would believe, like, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. I confused. Can I just quickly say this before you tell that story? I confu- confused. I was driving down the road and I confused a dream with reality. And then I was, I freaked out and I thought I w- it took me ages to realize it wasn't reality. 
And the only reason I realized it wasn't reality, I'm not even sure to this day, but this fact does refute it quite succinctly. I'm not at uni anymore or high school, but I had, I, I must have had this <laughs> intense. Are you, were intense, you a DMT? I think, I, well, I suppose that's what happens when you dream, but I swear to God, my dreams are so intense. I had this intense, 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 reoccurring dream of that I was studying and there was a few units. It was like year 12. There was a few units that I just never dropped. Like it was like extension maths and ex it was like D DT, DMT, one letter away, but it was like DT. And it was like, <clears throat> I just didn't drop it. And I just kept building. And the assignments were, I just, the, the teacher stopped asking me, but at a certain point, uh, you can't drop it. It's like, you can't drop it a month out. It's like, you have to, you're just going to fail the subject. So I had like, 20 assignments that I wasn't going to class. I was just like, I'll just keep ignoring it. And I was driving the other, the, yesterday, like at 10 o'clock at night. And I was like, oh God, fuck, I'm going to fail that unit <laughs> driving. And like, it took me like a minute. I was like, that can't be real. I don't go to high school anymore. But like, it was such an intense fear. It has to be real. There's no, no one can be that fearful in a dream. And I'm still not sure, but I'm not at uni, right? I'm just tell me, I'm not in high school, right? Right? I've got news for you, Miss Love. Oh, <laughs> you have repeated university. Uh, sorry, no. high school, thirteen times no. in a row. Do -do 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 -do. And every time you did the HSC, you got sixty nine. No. <laughs> Wait, that's supposed to be bad. <laughs> just, that was uh, my Miss Love's books. It was. Uh, it, it, is that's that just, what you get for doing DT in year twelve. So is that just me? What? Do you ever have these night tra these Dude, traumas? I had the every worst second night? one. No, but do you- At Jordan's house, I dreamt that I killed his dad. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping in his dad's room while he was in Dubbo or whatever he was. Yeah. And I woke up- That room. Scared that the cops are gonna show up because I've killed Jordan's dad. But did that come and haunt you? Six months after driving uh, on a highway? Like at least, no, nah, for 20 minutes it haunted me and then I realized it's okay, snap so out So what the hell's wrong with me? You have that where you're like, ah! No, but that, there's a lot of psychological pressure of staying in my dad's. He hasn't stayed there for, I don't know when he moved out, five years ago? Yeah. But there's a lot of psychological pressure there. I swear every time I sleep in there, I assume that I'm going to get a call at 12 in the morning. <coughs> hey, Jordan, I haven't spoken to you in a month, but uh, you're not sleeping in my bed, are you? No, just ruffle around in the sheets. You are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you better not change the channel from A&E. &E. <laughs> Dude, I have to say, every time I do lie in that bed, there's that. It's just like a, it's an SS death camp. There's an American flag draped over a fucking light post. There's an old radiator that doesn't work. There's a giant ad of like Campari from like pre-war. Yeah. And there's some scary clown dancing around a peeled orange. And every time I'm going to sleep under the covers, I just look at that and I just, I imagine him coming up like, you will die before you wake. <laughs> Enjoy camp party for the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I do like camp party, but don't rape me. <laughs> yeah, it's a scary place. Anyway, so you guys don't have reoccurring night traumas that in reality? Not in reality. I'm real. So I you had a micro slip at the car but the micro sleep lasted 20 minutes. No, it lasted like a minute, but like- Wait, you were driving and you fell asleep and started dreaming? No, I didn't fall asleep. It just hit me like a, like a fucking, what do they call Wait, it? Like a flashback, ball? like a DMT flashback. Boom, I'm like, I'm gonna fail. Ah, shit. No, and then I was just like, okay, wait, but you're not at uni. I'm like, just, just fuck off reason, but we got to sort this out, but you're not studying. Okay, maybe, okay. And it's slowly calming down. Okay, maybe it was just a dream. But no, that's a, a specifically you problem. But it's also your greatest strength in life that you are the real life main character in Enter the Void. <laughs> I think that as soon as you were born, it just flashed across the world. Enter. And as soon as you die, the void. <laughs> the vo I reckon he's right. Don't you yeah, think? Probably, you, yeah. that's, you've got a... Anyway, I just had to voice that because it happened yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's happened wait, wait, yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. We don't have a pipe, but we've got a vape. So yeah, how do you yeah, feel yeah. about that? I'm still freaked out, dude. I'm telling you, like, how can one man have so much trauma about something that doesn't exist? Weird. Did you do DT? Yeah, but did not you, in year 12. Did you fail your... Well, you went to uni, so you... I didn't fail shit. I just must what have some deep like psychological you? trauma of being stressed about not passing some fucking unit in my academic life. 
Well, chill out, me. Academic life. <laughs> chill the fuck. Hey, I went to uni. I know, but like, it's a bit of a stretch. Oh, <laughs> fucking lawyer boy over here in his fucking fancy <laughs> no, s- lawyer slacks. No, no, wait. Come on, BA. Digital BA media is studies congregate. is hard. I understand. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> let's get the bourgeoisie. Come on, get all uh, BAs. I'm poorer than you. you Go to Holsworthy. <laughs> bomb, firebomb every house. One of them are his. No, I'll do knock and run. That's anyway, tell them about how I bought my guitar. Go on. Wait, are you we should tell that? the story about your life. Because is is this so story better than mundane budget facts that I'm about to spew? That's a tough question to answer. Yeah, it really depends who you are. <laughs> You're not going to enjoy it more, but I am. All right, and that's the real it. divide in our audience. Let's do it. You roll Fuck, off. we're half an hour through with the boy. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Miss Love's dream. Well, what, what the fuck <laughs> am I here for? I'm not here for budget <laughs> so stats. Good. Yeah, and neither are we. We didn't look at the budget either. <laughs> Miss yeah. Love's dream is more real than the budget to us. Just tell you tell the story and then Ali can get his facts in. Go on. <laughs> It'll be fun. I was on the doll for like a year, staying at home while his hardworking immigrant parents, that you can see the skeleton tips of their fingers because they've worked them to the bone, and they're saying to Miss, go get a job, while he's sitting there watching Dr. Phil in his underpants <laughs> oh eating God. Cheerios out of the cereal box, going, fuck off, mum, I'm trying to look. Fuck off. This is and a little obscured, but all right. Is yeah. it a little obscured? Well, well I happened? put it in a bowl. <laughs> Right. Anyway, the crux yeah. of the story is, <laughs> yeah. I, th- I, I was like, yes, yes, get a job. I'm like, oh, f- I've just come back from Europe. And I was like, oh, okay, I was like, fine. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I just came back from a year-long holiday in my house. And I have to get a job eight months after I came back. Why do I sound like <laughs> the rain man? What is that? The rain man. Um, <laughs> the rain man. <laughs> thought you sounded like a dog whistle but if you are a character that's better uh but basically i was like i'm gonna get off the doll just let me fulfill the duty of every patriotic australian that is on the doll let me fulfill my my it's not even what i want to do it's what i have to do what was it let me use the doll money to buy a guitar i can't afford (laughs) and then after being on the doll for he did. <laughs> Wait, so, so you saved up for a year? I think it might have been so. Oh, no, no, maybe a bit less. But well, like, how much does the guitar cost? Because we were trying to figure this out mathematically. It the was other day. cheap. Christo and I were laughing behind your back as eighty percent of our conversations. <laughs> <laughs> and dick. Yeah, and uh, uh, it was it was cheap. I got it for like five grand. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I. That's the money I spend now on music gear. I don't need. Thank you very much. Uh, shout out Ampeg, Quatza. Uh, no, it was like five hundred bucks. Whoa, which was a bargain. I. That's why I had to get. it. I was like, it's a bargain, and I've still got it. To this, do you use it? Yeah. Does it sound good? Yeah. Doesn't sound like it. It sounds. It good. does. It's a great guitar. It's my sort of like. Sorry. Fuck. Let's get onto the business, but like it was, well, so, it's sort of my, it's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of my guitar of like, oh no, I'm playing a shed again where I'll probably step on a rusty nail and get tetanus and won't get paid for it. Time for old faithful. It's that guitar. And so you don't bring out the special 1960s one that you also bought for way overpriced. Two grand. Yep. That I don't think works. Hey, fresh recruit wants to know, miss, what guitar was it? It was a it was a squire it was a squire Tele Deluxe, but it was made in uh, Indonesia. So not one of those crappy, uh, you know, Chinese made squires or Vietnamese. Hell no, okay. Indonesia. Perfect. Yes, the good one, whose only exports is a form of instant noodle. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great story, great story. Thanks. But first off, boys, let's start the keep, pod. Wait one let's second, start, one second, we? miss. When you guys keep your mics at the edge of the table, every time you move the table, it creates a horrible sound in the mics and the audience hates it. It wasn't so me. Was, it wasn't no, that's really here. nice. So, Ali, thank stop, you for informing stop us Stop being, that. stop, like, just move forward to speak. That shit. 
Fuck. Well, <laughs> all these rules. I'm having six another six fucking flashback later. from six school. Years later. Okay, so the. Well, I feel like I'm just reading the broadcasting rules that are going on today, FM. What is this? We have to use microphones correctly. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, dude? <laughs> it's like, it's bothering me, so it must be bothering fair them enough, a lot. Fair enough, fair okay, enough, fair enough. Okay, so. Um, the budget. Uh, what I wanted to say was... <laughs> Welcome to the pod. The one thing that needs attention um, is... Look, the economy in terms of just generating money seems to be doing okay. The property market... I mean, it's a bubble or whatever, but still. There's money circulating. Part of it was the, uh, um, the, the, the liquidity injection that the government put in. But because of covid we haven't had any immigrants and that's causing a huge labor shortage in this country uh, again with Big the australia every chance every you get no this <laughs> isn't about having it in there this isn't about getting more people in this is about how to fix the issue you know uh, how you solve sure. overpopulation more immigrants <laughs> <laughs> well, try and don't it. invest in infrastructure no need <laughs> try explaining that to like all the farmers that need fruit pickers or all the hospitality industry in queensland that basically have no one to work hospitality for them. let that go let it go yeah hey, let how many times do you uber eats what how many times do you uber deliver or get i made dinner last night there's pasta in that fridge i'm self-sufficient Jeez. Yeah, Anyways, that's true. That man lives in a shack. Business, some small house. business owners and medium-sized business owners are having it tough. suppose I can't talk. I'm a small business owner and I did need immigrants. <laughs> Maybe it's true. It's true. And there's like the labor shortage. So I'm guessing and I'm hoping actually more than guessing that the budget has some tax incentives or liquidity to for... Um, uh, businesses that have labor shortage issues and and i don't know if this can be part of the budget but they should allocate some money to at least temporarily get some labor from if not from like uh like pacific islands or people just like temporary labor that can come in and at least help pick the fruit because i'm not going there are yeah. you <laughs> I well go in a hard not the fruit is going <laughs> bad the fruit's rotting i'd go it's more second. of an attraction for me so like, <laughs> oh it's on special <laughs> but why don't the liberals live up to their uh what's the word words oh people okay wait and hold up hold up this opinion of mine is extremely unpopular <laughs> from the thought. Is it? i thought that everyone in our audience loved big australia nah no, 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 no one likes Big Australia. They I live in not. Sydney. Hey, guys, they can live we just know, Paul, how much of you like Big Australia and how much of you like Dick Smith's vision of Australia? Which is like, Paul, at least half the population. 700,000 peanut butter factories. <laughs> I think I, I know, know which one's look. better right there. Uh, <laughs> some of the people are like, fuck Australia. I don't know. Fuck, fuck Australia, Australia in general. Uh, I well, like that is a uh, Tiger really knows out, best. Huh? His name's Tiger Knows Best. Well, okay. If my if my if my like uh, opinion is wrong about this, explain to me how the fuck is that fruit gonna get picked? Because we don't have backpackers doing it, they and should, we export that fruit. You know how everyone that works at Surrey Hills should get a ma have to do a mandatory year. Do you know what's funny? Mao did exactly that. It was called the Cultural Revolution. Yes. Well, and this it turned out great. Well, this one's yeah. gonna be called. <laughs> But you know what else as well? Well, now the uniform. It is time for a cultural revolution. They really need to have their culture changed. At its core. No, just a little bit of Ooh, the- Surrey Hills does. Yeah, yes. just a little bit of the, like, a, a change in- scenario. I did my time. I did fucking four years in Lithgow, you know? That's true. Like, just go out there. It'll give you a fresh air, cheap rents, new perspective on life. There's not many- Great stuff, Miss Love. Now they're going to be driving in droves to, like, out back to pick fruit now. Sounds good to me. What it's so say, easy to get that problem solved as well. You just put at the head of a farm a big sign that says "Big Day Out is back," <laughs> 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 and just handwritten <laughs> yeah. "Big Day and not <laughs> authentic." <laughs> big Day Out is back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's here's uh, a uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, here's a hockey dad's playing. You just need to pick uh, twenty thousand mangoes. <laughs> Wait, someone just did a shout out to Iron Fest. Oh, where was it? Miss Love, can you go to Iron Fest in Lithgow by Roddle seventy six? Send everyone to Iron Fest. Some jousting would cure what ails them. Hey, hey, hey hold on. With picking fruit, we've got some fruit near the jousting. Is there? 
I assume so. I didn't. I don't know if you can do that in an alpine climate. I don't know if. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose orange is just two short hours away. Fair enough. That's right. Or by horse, a mere <laughs> half a day. <laughs> by carriage. Uh, some- <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Someone that seems to be working at an avocado farm just said that there seems to be no labor shortage over here. So maybe it's just ABC propaganda. Because I did read it on the ABC. Yes, Exposed. and we just read in a comment thread that that's all lies. <laughs> yeah. And, See, that's, this is just and that's more reliable for sure. This is, I yeah. think so. This is what uh, this is what uh, the modern day media has come to: lies propagated with lies. Where's the truth? I don't know. Maybe you all know. All right. Maybe well, that concludes our budget analysis. You could learn a thing or two from this man, Ali. <laughs> But unfortunately, Getting to the bottom of it. Unfortunately, that does conclude our budget analysis. <laughs> but I, th- I think we're finishing with a game. Is that right? No, 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 no. We've got uh, we've got a few things. We okay. do have a few things, but Ali, I don't know if you're privy to this, but in the last podcast, Miss Love promised that he would bring his shearers live to the friendly Geordie studio, aka where he works and sleeps most of his life. <laughs> So he probably just needed to bring it for general upkeep of toiletries, but he nonetheless did bring shearers and he promised to make the world's first actual neck beard. Yeah, but that, that's sure. the finale. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. something that, the that you, that's the finale. The oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know then. All right, do it. You I guys want to see Miss Love <laughs> shave his beard Pole? so all he has left is, is <laughs> hairy Literally goodness. Literally a neck beard. That's what we've come to. I've wanted to shave all week. It's very itchy, but I do it for you people. Having said that, I want to create it, make it interesting. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh, tension. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's how you do it in fucking the film. Yes. Fucking, uh, Hell yeah, Miss Love. <laughs> that's how you One do man it. juggling. Wait, are you going to do it here? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. But I thought we were playing a game. No, fuck the other game. Right, was the game, though. The game attached to it was, have you been paying attention to Ali? And I'll I clearly be have adjudicator. Been. Ali, you be the Ali. Well, let's <laughs> do that. You are the only contestant. <laughs> and if you I'm get any only- answers okay. wrong, you have to get the next. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked. That's such a Are you doing it now? Game. Yeah, let's do it now, and then I'll, and I'll do it for the rest of the... Yeah, let's do it. All right. So who's going to... How about we just do it at the end? And we'll get a few money shots. All right, because we've got we've got to react to that video mm-hmm. uh, from SNL, and mm-hmm. I need to talk about the one last thing. Go in for, uh, for it. Which is the gas uh, uh, gas plant in uh, Hunter Valley in uh, in Central Coast. Mm. From budget to really obscure local issues. <laughs> no, it's Friendly not Jordan local. It's it it's it's important. I've got. <laughs> is, is it? it? <laughs> yes, it is. It is important. <laughs> Very, very important because for the government is getting uh, is bending its back over coal uh, plant owners who have now realized that coal plants are going to go down. So they are uh, extor- basically forcing the government to give them taxpayer money to set up gas plants, <clears throat> which and also lying about the fact that they can eventually be turned over into hydrogen clean plants, which it cannot, according to most experts. All right, that is actually a lot better than a month ago when your big piece story was, okay, so today we are going to be dissecting the apricot market in Myanmar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, apricot News market is also you. important. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> all right, if you want to go with that, we can, but I'm just saying it would be enhanced with a man that has a... <laughs> all right, let's do it, let's do it. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do the next We'll be right back. Wait, wait. No, 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 but do the it game. here. Do it here. Oh, uh, you want to do it here? We... Okay, we can do it here, but like... All right, we'll go game. on a break and then we'll come back. The game? No, not playing a game for it? Yeah, we are. Hey, we just got to get game? the shearers. Are what? they down your pants? No, but like the game comes first. Do the first, shearers dumb exist dumb? or did you dream them? Well, don't bring back tra- trauma from fucking... This ah! is the most crusty pod we've ever done, I think. <laughs> Rusty? Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, okay. I thought you didn't want to shave me here. Well, let's play the game. What nah, was the right. game? Let's just go on with the gas and we'll no, come No, no, let's do the game. Uh, have I you been paying attention, attention to Ali? So you yeah. just quiz him on things that you have been talking about over the last five weeks, say. Mm-hmm. And if he gets just one of them wrong, 
He's going to neck town. <laughs> it's more fun that way, you know. That's a difficult one because uh, I have now zero expectations from Miss Love, so I don't ask him for anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you asked me for my winning smile. Okay, okay, okay. Miss Love, <laughs> so when we're setting up this pod every week, what is the one expectation, the only one expectation I have of you while setting it all up? Frame that camera. No. Oh. All cameras. You've got to set the shot for Next all time. cameras. Okay. So you've here, over there, here? you extreme case of Warhammer nerdism. You here, here, I'll do it myself. Do you want to shave me or do it myself? No, you're going to have uh, to do, do it yourself. How long is it going to take you? It's going to take me a couple of minutes. So all right, well, you go out and you continue on with your gas story. Wait, we'll by myself? Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, well, I need to pee. Can we just go to the break? <laughs> We'll all right, we'll, all be, right. Back. we'll you, be back. You just cover this, Ali. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably I've got a treat for you guys. Oh, uh, but dude, it has to. You have to leave the neck beard. Yeah, and this is gonna hurt too. So there's two, right? Yeah. That is middle. That's good. Yeah. That's bad. Uh huh. So middle. Does that make sense? This one. Remington, Lady Remington, yeah, that one. Hey, keep that you. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, 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 are we live? Yeah, we're live. And so you go down? I don't know, just be, be gentle. Do you go up or down? Uh, go up, but right. be, be gentle. Fucking hell, this is stupid. These are my sins for, uh, you ready? Yeah, yeah we're ready. We're live right now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> These are my sins. I'm, 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 I'm uh... Oh, can I do I'm, a little bit of it? Yeah. Go on, yeah, hack away. So just the neck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, 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 no. No, you keep the neck, for Christ's sake. That's the money. No, 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 no. So keep just the neck, right? Yeah. 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 No, no, go up, go up. Oh, dude, not so no, no, fast. No. Maybe do the... Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's... Take it slow. Take it... Just how you are in bed. Oh, that's... That's painful. Oh, it's because it's a pube ring. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Stop being a baby. Oh. 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 I Ow. love this part. <laughs> Can I also do the eyebrows? No <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> oh, 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 it actually really hurts. Go slower. Oh. <laughs> that could be it. So, Jordan, explain why this is my punishment. Well, you, some of you, got, you have to talk, guys. You can't. Oh. Well. Last week, Miss Love was very upset with me because ah. he came to the realisation yeah. that he has a neck beard and he thought that was my fault despite me not seeing him for 10 days in a <laughs> row. And he said the words, quote, why didn't you inform me of this? <laughs> well, it might have had something to do with the fact that I was a mere 900 kilometres away and my vision's not that good, especially seeing as I can only see out of one eye. <laughs> And mm. now, Miss Love has to face the consequences of forever wearing a neck beard <laughs> and understanding what's so attractive about Warhammer. Oh, which oh, reminds please. me, stop for a second. Yeah, no, no, you've got to do the other side. Yes, I Wait, turn oh, it off. He's going to die. Go down, down. Save battery. That's up. Go down. Miss Love, before your transition is complete, <laughs> what do you think about this Kai Rip Kai battle shoot? Okay, right now, with, 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 with half beard intact, it's fucking lame, man. All right, we will see. What do you rate it out of 10? One. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ali. Oh, God, you're rough, Ali. It is what it is. I know, I know, but... <laughs> All right, now it's time for Dr. Gentle to do his charm. Ow! I'm <laughs> sorry. Well, you wanted me to go slow. Oh, yeah, but that's not slow. Isn't it? Yeah, now you got it. That's how we like it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a snuff film. Oh. Yeah, you blonde little. I'm a backup dancer in a Shirley Temple <laughs> movie that's glorifying the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> it's glorifying the Navy. <laughs> Alright, sing us the Shirley Temple song, miss. And the good ship. 
Lollipop, bitchy sweet. Ma- Jack, maybe not dance g- if you're scared of getting stabbed by a razor. But I do like the gusto. <laughs> Ow! Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, it's, uh, ah. Okay, you are you are get leaving the neck beard, yeah? Yeah. Good, of course good. I am. I just, I'm not a psycho. <laughs> oh. God, this is weirdly uh, satisfying. I feel like uh, this is. I feel like I don't know, like an Egyptian man. I assume this is what goes down on the streets this of Egypt. This was definitely what was happening in ancient Egypt. Was it that we were using a barber's best pro Remington <laughs> and it was going into a plastic bag? Do you remember? <laughs> degradable. <laughs> Do you remember when you were obsessed with Lady Remingtons for a while? You just thought it was funny? Yep. Yep. Good times. And oh, you, uh, you... Oh, it's in my mouth. As is the usual trend at Friendly Geordies, turn the meme into reality. Yeah. Ugh. Jesus. Uh, Ali, you did a terrible job. You did such a Muslim job of shaping <laughs> a beard. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Getting you all dolled up for your big day with Shirley Temple on the set. <laughs> How does it feel? Oh, Jesus Christ. Finnegus, I assume your name is. <laughs> oh, there's so much hair on you. What do you it's mean? not going in the bag. Oh, it's all on your shirt. No. I'm sorry. It's all right. This is what Twitch is made for. Hey, if you like this, join our Patreon. Yeah, that's it. Keep chilling. <laughs> Keep doing the Shirley God, Temple yeah. dance. <laughs> Good shit. Funny gags. It helps us eat. Please don't hurt me. La 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 la. <laughs> Feels fresher. And you look darling. <laughs> yeah, I would probably look like a freak. You look like a Hitler mustache. No, I'll be taking good care of that. Don't you worry. Oh, God. As we all know, from the guy that was just wearing a face mask that was black, I'm very sensitive to racial ow, issues. Ow. <laughs> Hi, Panthera. Oh, see, I have a, I, my chin kind of goes out, so it's like, where are you going to draw the line? Well, I think, I think we'll just keep Ugh. maybe the bottom of the chin, but that's not really the neck. I'm sorry, we're going to have to go deep on this. Oh. I don't have a spare shirt. Are they? Are we on like one viewer now? You may need a spare face. Oh, check out me. Is there three people watching now? Oh god. Oh yeah. Look, 5, if this 000. is a sh- if, if this is a sheep shearer's <laughs> life, we're at seven hundred and twenty-seven. So it's good content. Keep going. Yeah. See, this is Jordan realizing he wants to pick fruit. It's like I don't mind being a sheep shearer. This should be. Uh, were you gonna say you would? Y- were you gonna say you were into it? Yeah. That's what passion? I was going to say. Yeah. You took the words out of my mouth. Well, we'll have sheep. to. We'll have to do it weekly. It's so missile just getting a service. <laughs> I should tip you. <laughs> Christ, surely you're done. What? You're... That's why you have a neck beard, Missile. Why? Because you don't shave. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for the old muzzy. Out you go. Sorry. You're not getting allowed into Splendor this year. Up and wide. I don't know if this is nose hair or beard. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yes, a very sexy. Ugh. And that's how trimmers work, right? I don't know because I've always t- it's so much the hair 12 in my year mouth. old boy look. <laughs> <laughs> now if you get fussy, I'll shave that neck beard right off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't think this is the style. This is the fucking. Well, style. everybody, get the trend going. Get Send us pictures on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Let's get the trend going. Anyone oh. that's hitting on Miss Love, send nudes. <laughs> no, the usual no, riff, no, and no. make sure that you subscribe to Patreon. And we will do this every week. If we get an extra <laughs> fifty Patreon subs, this will be a solid hour of content. I feel like it's a kid fine. again. You like a kid, you're like, mommy, I don't want to. Oh, 
God, I can... It's, surely that's close. That's... Oh, no! Oh! No! Oh, no! no! Shit! <laughs> you fucking pro... Oh! Oh, so oh no! The, the poetic justice! The poetic justice! The Riptide battle suit is down. I repeat, battle report, it is down. <laughs> Where did its leg go? <laughs> oh, so much hair. Oh, no. Miss Love, I've got my own problems here. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, the the broadcast, he's lost a fucking Warhammer figurine. Oh. Cut. Do I well, look? you just imagine that this okay. particular Tau is uh, uh, paraplegic uh, for battle. What do you think about it now that you're a dead beard? Is that a Super Soakers 1000 Collector Tide uh, bum bum? You've got a lot to learn, my friend, but that's pretty much the gist of it. It's actually a Super Soaker 2000 bum bum. 10 out of 10. Yeah, there ten we go. He's an official neck here. I'm going to have a look at this. Yeah, you do. We can sit down. Oh, man, that was not worth it, though. Oh, this is a really God. expensive piece of oh. whatever. Oh. Oh. All right, so... Jordan is unfortunately. Oh, work yet. Oh my God. Stop it. I look like a freak. Holy shit! Do we need to go on a break, Jordan? Are you really sad about this? Yes, I'm sad about it. <laughs> I sucked in. It's a win-win. I look like a fucking pedophile, and he broke his stupid toy. I mean, yeah. sick toy. Stupid toy. <laughs> Oh, we can't that, Jesus. All right, look, how about we just do a quick cleanup and we take a break? No, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. All right, we'll come back in like a minute. Oh, my God. And well, we're back. That was fun. <laughs> that and was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, As, look uh, at me, look at me. Can we get a close-up on Miss? Wait, wait. Miss. Do you like the... Uh, the Spider-Man, not with Kobe. No, no, just say, do you like Warhammer? Do you like Warhammer? <laughs> there it is. That's worth 50 patrons for sure. Look, it's so much worse than what I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> it's really disturbing. <laughs> it's so fucked. <laughs> Let's we... get the trend going. <laughs> Guys, if there is any gals listening, can we get one of you to go on a date with Miss Love just with this beard? So this is a limited time offer for the next two days. Oh, He's going to film yeah, it as a vlog. Can we not keeping this for two days? You can just stay here the whole time as a safe house. For just like the people that killed Kennedy. You don't leave this premise. <laughs> oh, someone's saying I will. Yes! Oh, wait, that's the, the lady that was promising <laughs> Miss Love throughout anyway. Oh, there great. we go. Great. great. Well, today's your lucky day. <laughs> yeah, my, I'm just a toy thing to these friends of mine. And, uh, People's girlfriends are volunteering. <laughs> yeah. All right, but like, do you want to make the announcement? But I really just want to see how a woman yeah. reacts to that. I'm guessing that see. it's going to be great. Hi. Just like, I'm just having a look at myself. Uh, like, just like, I was just wondering... What's your opinion of not the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, but uh, the ones with uh, Andrew Garfield? Because I thought they were like pretty underrated, and it was cool that that rapper guy <coughs> was in it. Want to make out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now all you need to do is gain forty disgusting. kilos, and you've got the look. <laughs> <laughs> and a fedora. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Miss Love, now, also, we need to educate you on what Reddit is. What red is? What Reddit okay. is? Yeah. Is that? Is that do you say that when you've read a book? Two hundred thousand me's <laughs> online with no following. You'll fit right at home now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that sometimes? Is that the place that sometimes I uh, read about? People that, that have amps and show photos of their amps and pedals? Probably. There might yeah, be yeah. some murky little corner of it that deals with that. That's correct. Uh, that, that is it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I always just assumed that it was just nothing but people shitting on Joe Biden for really unfounded reasons. But, you know, they might be into music as well. <laughs> Who knows? A lot of neckbeards do like heavy metal. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. And from your neckbeard, 
you're going to be into corn, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side was very underrated. I don't care that people said that it was bad that they collaborated with The Matrix. It was a good album. I know that we have to get on to serious stuff, but then again, this is serious. <laughs> Miss Love, can you just give me a rundown? What do you think of the band Dream Theater? I think they're fucking lame. Still with that neck. Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Wait a sec, something's coming, something's coming to me. Something's coming to me. I'm uh, realizing that they're proggy. The perfect mix of long-haired Asian bass player with cool guy mustache, John Petrusha. I love Dream Theater. I love Dream we Theater. We love Neck I love beard. them. Neck I beard. love them. Turn up Neck Beard. Yeah, songs about dragons. I love dragons because they could be real. I, I mean, if I believe it, and they're real, right? <laughs> Yeah. You should love them. Isn't their whole album about, I had a crazy dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's my life. That's you. It's my fucking life. You probably are their bass player. Oh, I am now. Now, everybody, we will be auctioning off <laughs> Nick Slove's neck beard that we did have to fish out of the trash. If that does sweeten the deal, all proceeds will be going to charity. What Men charity? Men that cannot uh, grow beards. I don't know what Miss charity. No, Miss, what charity? What's a, what's a, what's a good charity? Uh, Vinny's? Is that a charity? I don't know. What's a good charity? <laughs> Vinny's. <Jordan, laughs> you, you know about charity. Actually, you know what? I'm choosing the charity and this is very, what do you call it? Self, uh, you know, my lovely brother who I, well, family member, I've already said my brother. I'm de I'm dedicating it to a type one diabetes fund. I don't know which one, because yes. I don't know many of them. He truly is will. a neck beard man. He's looking after his yeah. kind now. Yeah, so yeah. if you want Miss Love's discarded beard in a uh, bag of trash that was had to taken out of the trash, I'm looking at the guy that keeps paying for Miss Love's socks, <laughs> with sweat included. <laughs> Here's your chair in my mouth. Can still. you show them the socks that you're about to ship off now for $40? <coughs> <coughs> There's yes, I got Nah, but like we're back. We're back. All right, all right. Back. Sorry. Look, did you hear that we're auctioning off my neck, my, my non neck beard for type one diabetes charity? Did you hear yes that? Yes or no? Did you hear that? Yes or no? And how are we going to get them to, how, how do you uh, sell a What bag is our of communication with our audience? It's very World War II. Talking <laughs> no, <but how> <laughs> gonna... into these microphones. <coughs> how are we going to do the auction? Uh, eBay. Oh, can we do that? Yeah, we'll check it on there. All right, we'll keep you posted. eBay. All proceeds. But also, I don't know if they heard that. You're selling those socks off. Or stop touching these, Jordan. Okay. I'm selling. But I'm just amazed that there's so much sweat on these that it feels like when you put your clothes on the line, you come back after it rains. Wet. That feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That much sweat is on them. I've been purposefully trying to get these as filthy as possible. And may I say, mission accomplished. <laughs> I don't think you can get any more grimier than that. Coming soon. I, I don't want to keep holding him, but uh, 2021's a weird year. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we, and we have a lot more viewers now. Some people joined in <laughs> because the stream cut off and they probably got a notification. Friendly Geordies is live. So welcome. <laughs> you just missed the greatest episode we've ever done where we shaved Miss Love off, just leaving his neck beard. I am officially a neck beard. And we're, uh, we're auctioning off the... The disgusting oh. hair <coughs> fished out from a bin <coughs> for type one diabetes yeah. via eBay. Yeah. So get in on that. We're um, going to be doing that. I'm actually shit, so excited. Oh, 500 people dropped out all of a sudden. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Anyways, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> the net is a weird place. Look, just look at my neck beard more and then you'll come back. Hmm? Is that doing it for you? Yeah, yeah that's doing that's it. doing it for me. <laughs> all right. Uh, we were talking something of substance. Yeah. Ugh. Are we, are we ready for that? Someone said, I don't pay you $12 a month to talk about anything that's of substance. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But anyways, we were talking about, so the New South Wales government is uh, building a gas plant, which is supposed to be the Liberal Party's uh, gas-based re gas recovery. Mm. So basically what's happening is that there's a whole lot of stuff happening, but... One of the main coal-based uh, power plants that supplies most of the electricity to New South Wales is going to close down because of market forces or whatever. And the way... So um, people... The Liberal Party is saying that the way we compensate that electricity is by setting up another gas plant. And they're saying that because the coal plant owners are saying that's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. And they also want a cushion to their blow. Basically, 
once they lose all their money from coal, they need some kind of money. So it's basically welfare for uh, fossil fuel producers. And we are paying about $70 million for this gas plant. It's all taxpayer funded. Not not a single penny is being... Uh, actually, some money is being put in by private companies as well, but mostly it's public funded. Now, the other thing that's happening is that because the there's a... Um, let's just say the, the market forces are such that there's a perception that coal plants are going to go down, are going to close down. Hence, every coal plant owner is pumping in a lot of money to keep it open because they are expecting other coal plants to go down. And once they go down, there's going to be a high demand and then they'll be able to supply it. So no coal plant is actually closing down mm. except for people assuming that it will close down. Mm. But meanwhile... To, in order to beat one f uh, fossil fuel producing power plant, we're setting up another one, which is the gas-based plant. The, every environmental, uh, environmentalist is saying that that is a stupid idea. We should move to renewable wind energy, solar energy-based uh, power. But the Liberal Party is saying that that's not reliable because of blackouts. Mm. And uh, again, and every other travel. expert is saying that that's not true. What you really need is for every state in Australia to be able to supply electricity when <coughs> there's one state that's in a deficit. And also, the assumption that we're not able to store uh, power is based on technology from five years ago because battery technology has gotten a lot better and we're able to store a lot more energy than we were before. And we could have stored it five years ago as well. Uh, we could have. Well, we could have supplied uh, renewable energy five years ago. But the thing was, they always use the South Australia example where, you know how like a few years ago, South Australia had a few blackouts and then Elon yes, Musk. Yes, that is a myth that they invented like they're good with the economy. The reason there was blackouts in South Australia is because of a unprecedented heat wave that caused all of the old coal plants to shut down. So the things that were causing climate change were the first victims of climate change and the things that got them back online were the Tesla batteries. Mm. And, yeah, uh, and I suppose it's even true then. But the other thing is, like, it's also because our, like... Uh, all our energy grids is really sovereign. Like each state is just kind of doing its own thing. We should be able to supply energy to deficit areas because with renewables... And South Australia has been supplying those energy deficits to Queensland and New South Wales who still have the most amount of coal. Yeah. And it is because coal is less reliable than renewables. Yes. And the other, um, the other uh, controversy is that the way the gas... Uh, these uh, gas plant owners are pitching it is that we will be able to trend we will be able to convert these power plants into gas as well as clean hydrogen but what they are not telling you or what's in finer details is that's only five percent so 95 percent of it would be gas and five percent of it would be clean hydrogen and a lot of people are saying that even that analysis of the five percent is a bit faulty it's, it's really technical. Why and do I, they bother with the 5%? Well, just as a way to convince dummies like us being like, oh, yeah, you should give us $80 million because it's pseudo-renewable. Uh, mm. So it's just a marketing tactic. Mm, mm. And it's been recognized as that too. But <laughs> essentially, what's <clears throat> at the bottom of it, what's really happening is behind integrities, people that were making a lot of money from supplying electricity to Australia through coal are worried that they're not going to be able to make as much money. So they're asking the Liberal government to basically give them a, uh, a bailout, give them like a, a welfare scheme. Mm. A welfare scheme is transition us to gas, even though that's still fossil fuel, you'll be able to sell it to the public. And uh, that way we will continue to fund you. Essentially, that's what's happening here. Because there is no reason... In 2021, to move from coal to gas when you've got plenty of technology and the ability to be able to make it completely renewable. Um, so what you're saying it's really, is... It's, I, I really don't like... It's very depressing to me when you hear these things because that investment is not going to change. And... Really, you can't justify it after that gets opened as well. I mean, you technically could build more renewables, but really what the Liberal Party is trying to do is 
make gas the transition power as opposed to renewables to lock that in for another generation so that there are still their friends that have control over energy. And that's the only reason that they're doing it. Yeah. It's so depressing knowing that it's the end of the line when it comes to climate change. They still don't care. They are the most self-absorbed, awful people, and they're in control of the money of the, of the public. It's yeah, it's it's a really it's it's yeah. Look, Pathetic. it's a it's a small microcosm of what's happening across the country. Well, it's it, part of a grand vision that they have and tried to sneak through with COVID. And what's the grand before. vision? The grand vision is to do that globalists. with all coal plants. Replace mm. them with gas. Just so, like, uh, people that were making money off of coal plant keep making money off of coal plant. Yeah. At the back of tax dollars and, and with a source of, of energy that I think is, what, 10% better than coal? Yeah. After the, the long run? Especially when you put in all the other environmental factors that are involved with fracking. And the worst part of all of this is... They're always using this as, oh, we've got to get energy supply. We have way more than enough coal that is uh, gas that is produced domestically. We are the Saudi Arabia of gas. We are the biggest exporter of gas in the world. And all of it just gets shipped over to Korea and Japan. And so we don't even have enough for domestic supply. And they change the rules so that instead of offering it to the domestic market first, they could offer it to Korea and Japan first, and they're willing to pay four times the price. So they're increasing the amount of money that we are getting charged for our own coal. It should be about $4 a gigalitre or whatever it's called there. I don't know what the exact prices are. But they're charging us more than they are charging Japan and Korea to secure a domestic supply. The other thing that I was reading about is... Um so this coal plant, that's the, the reason why all of this is happening is because of that. I can't remember the name of the coal plant, but which is closing down, which produced about 300 and, 330 megawatts of electricity for New South Wales. And um, basically, the government is saying that once that closes down, we will have a deficit of 1,000 megawatts. Most experts are saying that that is com completely an arbitrary figure. It has no basis. In fact, uh, some independent studies are saying that the deficit would actually be somewhere between 150 to 180 megawatts. And so they're saying that there's going to be a shortfall of 1,000 megawatts, again, just to convince us to uh, allow this gas plant to go ahead because it requires tax dollars. You know what else? I don't know why they bother. Why do they bother coming up with a cover story? Do you think anyone would care either way? I think some people would. I mean... But some people would. But I don't think anybody is going to change their vote over this coal plant. So, uh, gas plant. I, I don't know. But, like, it seems to be important enough for them to be able to at least make stories, even if they're lies. I suppose when you're signing off $80 million to a bad investment, you probably should come up with some cover letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that be the best thing you do. But it's, 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 it's very, very sad that we still haven't mended our ways when literally the entire world is uh, moving towards renewables. The shining light is, though, that I think that the Murdoch press might be right. doesn't matter what Australia does. Mm, that the thing that's really sad for us is more the economic opportunity that the Liberals are again squandering. They squandered superannuation under Keating's plan. They squandered the mining boom. Uh, they're now squandering the green tech revolution that we are poised to take advantage of more than any other country on earth. That's what I think I'm most sad about, the fact that the budget books could be balanced. <laughs> 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 well, that, uh, yeah, that's just, again, a sad story. Um, but luckily, there's other countries that have bigger carbon footprints that are moving at a much faster pace than we are. Uh, I think I talked about this on the Up Late podcast, and that's why it's called the Up Late podcast, because it's too raunchy for this one. But Gets Kevin Rudd was negotiating between the Democrats and China. Yeah. There's a reason that you're only allowed to listen to that if you're a Patreon member. <laughs> but that's true. The reason that uh, Joe Biden came Join out of now. the gates. Yeah. Join now. 
Go on. <laughs> Just helping it. Getting used to your new shoes, yeah, yeah. aren't you? <clears throat> Going now. Yeah, yeah. The phlegm. <laughs> There's a lot of hair in my mouth too, so it's not enough to Yeah, yeah, it's authentic. <clears throat> Take it away. The reason that Joe Biden came out of the gates galloping is because... Kevin Rudd was acting as a mediator between China and the US in getting them to negotiate the scenario that the Democrats won in 2020, what the US would be doing and what China would be doing. It's insane to say that the Labor Party has a worse climate policy than uh, the Greens do. The Greens is just complete fantasy world. I'm sorry, did you set up the groundwork in Copenhagen for the Paris Accords to go ahead like Kevin Rudd did? Did you negotiate between China and the US so that they could come out with a uh, slew of green policies that shocked the entire planet? No, what did you do again? Oh, that's right. You voted against that guy's ETS. Yeah, <laughs> what a great party. <laughs> Adam Ban, I'm sorry, can I just say, can you fuck off? Why do you look like someone who has one kid when they're like 40 and that kid's name is Mildred? Jesus. You shouldn't be allowed to be the head of the go. That's yeah. the beginning of another beef. <laughs> Bruz, move over. This You're yesterday's racy. news. Racy pod. <laughs> Having said that, buy the shirts that Jordan's wearing. Mm, mm. Mm-hmm. At Available at friendlyjordies.com. Stupid fat idiot. Love the design. I especially love that we got... An artist that seems to think that koalas live on bamboo sticks. <laughs> That's a great addition. Hey, we outsourced it. Is that yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because why. Because it was just like, uh, are pandas grey? <laughs> I will, what happened. I will not tell you where the designer is from, yeah, you can but guess. here's a hint. Oh, this is going to be too slack. Meet Wad. He probably has COVID. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back. Oh. Sorry. Terrible. I know. Yeah, Horrible. but I, it's not slack. It's probably just true. It's both. Uh, I, I yeah. regret everything. Nah, it was good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Miss. <laughs> Anyways, um, the feel of approval. It's all fine. right, look, we. I uh, spent a lot of time on Four Chan. Sorry, yeah, Panthera, Panthera. Sorry, my bad. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Miss Love, we're gonna do. Uh, oh, fuck. Jordan wants to watch. We're going to do a react video of a video that probably everyone else has seen, but we will see it again. Yep. Uh, These Ms. are always put popular up the video on the podcast. On I haven't seen this. But These, uh, as we all know, are much better when we get Ali, who doesn't know how to edit, than my editors, whose entire job is to edit react videos. Yeah. And that's what we will be watching today. Elon Musk's powerhouse performance on Saturday Night Live oh. because Saturday Night Live wasn't lame enough when it was a bunch of aspiring comedians doing it. No, now you have to have tech billionaires that have never told a joke right. in their entire life trying to do it. Miss Love, and tell me just when. guys, can you watch this? You tell me when. Okay, go on. Can you watch this and tell me if you don't see that there's something a bit fishy about the content of this skit? All right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mind if I do? <laughs> All right, three. Wait, 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 okay, one second. Tong. Yeah, three, two, two one, one, action. And I know this is difficult, but were you present at the time of your brother's murder? Hey, I was. It's great Italian accent. <laughs> and how exactly was he uh, killed? Uh, sorry. Killed. <laughs> we had a friendly race with a go kart. Then someone a thought and then appeared <laughs> a Mario. His car is being out. He wiped out all over the pavement. I hear a noise, I like. I can't tell either, but I've just got to say, man. Oh, you can't pause. Who threw the banana peel present in the courtroom at this moment? How's this guy worth a million dollars, and I have to beg for Patreon? Let the record show that the witness has indicated Wario, the That's Eagle Eagle Musk. Objection. I'm sorry. The other Mario, the prosecution restaurant. Uh oh, I have food. Don't worry. This is why they pay me the big bucks. Would the defense like to call its first witness? Oh. Uh, we would, Your Honor. The defense no, calls this. Wario. Wario, is it true, as many have, have put forward hang on, today, hang on. Get, that you TV. are evil? 
No, I am not the evil. I just uh, misunderstood. And some of the anti-Italian hatred in the Scott room is uh, disgusting. Objection. His accent is really bringing it on himself. Sustained. Watch it, Wario. You know, funny you should mention his accent. Your Honor, I'd like to submit as evidence Wario's Super Mario Wiki fan page. And this is He's all real. Bad. Mm, He's pretty bad. People are so mean. He's bad. <laughs> He's not an entertainer, so I think it's okay. The no, okay. section entitled Personality, and see if this doesn't sound defamatory to my client's character. All right, is that enough? Or <clears throat> we keep going. Wario yeah, no, is second, generally just, lazy, ruthless, and greedy. He is foul and smelly as he eats a lot of garlic. His favorite food. Wow! Racist much? Objection! He's eating garlic right now. Stop. Stop. Let's just keep that's reading, it? shall we? Now that's a gag. I just wanted to show you that Saturday Night Live is back and it's better than ever. No, but I... Look. Oh, sorry, we're off. Oh, why? Uh, no, we're not. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> um... Oh, wait, what's happening? What the fuck? Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But we I probably think we are back. No, no, no. We're going in and no, out. No, no. You're back, but that camera's fucking up. I'll, I'll check it. Well, uh, hang on a second. Ali, sit down. <laughs> uh, so much Did you my... notice something <laughs> a bit familiar with that sketch? What do you mean? Don't say it. Maybe I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist, but this did come out a week after Bruz did. <laughs> we do get tweets from writers of The Daily Show every now and then saying, yeah, friendly Geordie's big fan. Is it that much of a stretch to think that Saturday Night Live writers were watching the Bruz video and thought that's a script idea? Oh, holy shit. The whole thing is just uh, arguing over whether or not Mario is racist. Do they really watch... Friendly Geordies? Well, I know that the... Because if I they don't know do, what channel they're on, but... Well, remember how they If they watch up, it... Remember how, how they picked up the Bart Simpson thing? Yeah. So they clearly watch it. Whoa, that... And uh, the guy that writes... Uh, my name's... Uh, the, the, the name's gone blank, but the guy that writes Spook and Morty, Justin yeah. Roiland, is that his name? I don't know. He's a big fan. Really? Yeah, so... I think Saturday Night Live... Uh... <laughs> I think they stole my jokes. <laughs> Thoughts? Bruz susception, someone just said. Uh, I'm going to go say- watch it in your own time. I think I've got 200,000 views. It's probably the least viewed video of Elon Musk on YouTube. I'm going to say it's conclusive. I believe you. They're clearly clutching for ideas. Fuck, that would be crazy. Well, let's see what the audience has to say. Does anyone I, uh, reckon Jordan is right? Typical Hollywood. I mean, look, Mario <laughs> has- Some people are saying you're dreaming, mate. Right? Really? But Mario it's so coincidental. It is. Mario has been done many times, but like, it's not like in vogue to do Mario. And is it in vogue to put it in a court case arguing over whether or not Mario is racist? Yeah, that is kind of, that is so specific. The whole argument really is because, about free speech. Yeah, because why would they make that? Why would they make that script? It's got nothing to do with Elon Musk. It's very, very coincidental. What do you think? It's a possibility. I think it's it is possible. It is, it's if not fans, it's possible. I mean, look, if did fans. you know this? Did you know this? People in America also have YouTube. Slow down, Jack. No, 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 that's, that's fake news. That's calm. <laughs> <laughs> they have, uh, They've been is there porn on YouTube? Well, it's not like, hey, hey, it's Saturday anymore. I mean, I swear that if Daryl Summers was just being like, hey, what is your jicky knee? What the hell? That's clearly that cousin it from the Adam family. <laughs> then I'd be like, you're a conspiracy theorist. But no, look, I think it's not that much of a stretch. If they watch, I mean, Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live has probably been short for ideas for like a decade. It doesn't seem unbelievable that they would see a viral video. How many views is it on now, bros? Oh, the the, the 400,000. 400, 500, close to close 500. Close to 500, and, maybe. And Eels but is like still this on Saturday Night Live You like, should be ashamed of yourselves. But Next George. Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> this eel. We Joe Biden all. makes eel jelly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
hey, she eat this all the time back with corn pop. But as, but like don't don't you think this would have been prepared? <laughs> it was nutritious and delicious. Jack. Don't you think this would have been prepared like weeks ago? Mm-mm. The sketch. That's not how Saturday Night Live works. It's week to week, and they have a week, so it's a huge ideas generator factory. And let's be honest, none of those ideas have been good since the seventies. Nah, that's not true. There's some that are okay. So yeah, so, yeah. There's yeah, been the a Seth handful. Meyers era was golden. There were some good ones. And I was pretty impartial to the Lonely Island back when I was 18. No, no, let's not go there. Uh, I don't know. I'm on a boat. Yeah. Uh, this auto-tune is a joke. Dick in a but box. But there's a bigger, there's a <laughs> yes, bigger revelation the yeah. from the Saturday Night Live uh, hosted by Elon Musk. He said he's got Asperger's and everyone else goes, ah, that makes sense. I don't even think everyone said that makes sense. I thought everyone was like, I thought he did. Oh, was it known before? Because I yes, didn't know. Yes, of course it was known. But you just look dude, at that man speaking. Dude, one of his companies was like Asperger's Live, for sure. Like he's what? <laughs> flamethrower, like the boring company, Asperger's. But, I mean, it makes sense. He was horrible. Why did he do SNL? it? Because he's not an entertainer, look, before we, not I, an actor. I, I, like, think, I think that is, I think that, look, this conspiracy theory is a lot less cons- conspiratorial than your real estate conspiracy theory. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, which, if you want to know what we're talking about, sign up to Patreon. Yes, yeah, that sign actually up. is too hot for TV because I probably still want to buy a house off that specific real estate agent, <laughs> <laughs> and I feel bad being. Like, oh. I I feel bad because I just didn't have my loan approved, and that's why. <laughs> Look, we we're out of time. Well, what what do they say? What do they think? Uh. They are now saying that everyone knows that Elon had Asperger's. No, not about <laughs> no, that. No, not about. Did they steal the bras idea? Did they steal the bras idea? Uh, Who, does every YouTube video have to descend into Elon Musk? Christo showed There's enough you Joe this, Rogan's. Didn't no, Christo's girlfriend, uh, Kirsten, showed me. Ah, oh, Kirsten. And right. she sent it with this. They're as saying the they stole it. all the proof I need. Bras? Question mark? Is that what it's called? No. Uh, oh. Stolen bras, deaf stolen. I think it could Luigi be. Luigi was better. I don't know, maybe. But I honestly think it could be because like- they SNL search- steals jokes a lot. And this is, uh, Genius says that. So he's probably right. He's, he's a yeah. genius. And dude, I honestly, I kind of believe you, dude. I kind of believe you. And if you did, your career is going from strength to strength. I think I'm-, I'm Welcome I'm, to the I think I'm embarrassing like, world of publication. <laughs> I think my, is my sentiments are exactly what evils for nerd sentiments are. It's 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> and that is my sentiments as well. <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun. Good night, everybody. Is that a conclusion? That is a conclusion. And like, this was probably the weirdest podcast that we've ever done. Yeah. It, had, it was it. And also- Riddled with technicality, ish, technical issues. I guess that happens every week. Yeah. But yeah. If you Still were, the only difference was yeah, yeah. shaved miss love. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, available. Are we going to eBay this? eBay yeah. my face trippings. Tri- You're going to eBay it. I don't know how to eBay. Well, yeah, you're neither do I. That's go- on you, Ali. <laughs> Ali. <No. Yeah. laughs> Sorry. I know that you have to send a thousand shirts this week, but you've got one. Someone's going to eBay it. I don't know Less how. Than a thousand. All right. Perfect. Uh, thank you guys for joining us this week. We'll yeah. see you for the up late and we'll see you next week as well for those of you that are too miserly to pay up. Bye, guys. We still love, love you all. Warhammer 4K. It is 5K. Send me more Warhammer. <laughs>